Zika virus is transmitted by two ways, basically. It can be transmitted by mosquitoes, but it can also be transmitted from person to person. And that's one of the things that makes that virus difficult to deal with in an epidemic situation because you have to not only avoid mosquito contact, but you have to avoid sexual contact with any people that possibly have the virus. Some of the signs and symptoms of the Zika virus are fever with aching, similar to other flu viruses, you would feel like you have the flu. Another sign is a conjunctivitis or red eyes. Photophobia, which means you're very sensitive to any light and can't look into light. Other signs are typical rash. A lot of those signs are also associated with other viruses too, so sometimes it's hard to tell which virus you have. They've recently done a lot of studies on this. They were concerned that this virus may be affecting the development of the fetus and they've done enough studies now that they feel certain that the virus can affect the growth of the placenta and the growth and well-being of the fetus during the pregnancy. Specifically, it causes a problem called microcephaly in, during the pregnancy, but unfortunately it can also continue to affect that baby after it's delivered in future developmental growth for that child and adult. Right now, since this virus is not in this area, it's not as important to be diligent. But if an outbreak occurs, people need to be diligent about avoiding mosquito contact and also protecting their partners by avoiding sexual contact or at least have protection so it can't be spread that way. If you're just aware of your environment and around you and try to decrease your exposure to the mosquitoes that live in this area, you need to wear DEET on skin exposed areas, wear long sleeves and wear long pants, and that will help prevent spread of the virus. If you are pregnant and you contract the virus, then you need to be followed closely and get tested and your OBGYN should have all of that information about how to test and what needs to be tested and how you need to be followed during that pregnancy.